escape, okay? It's 7.55. I'm late for Jessica. And uh, this is the first of the reviews. I'm actually recording the audio for this and the gameplay the night before because I'm going to be busy today. Um, so I've got a package to pick up and sort out. Um, so, this is not the default skin you can get. This is actually Arnold uh, Schwarzenegger, but um, it, well, obviously I am calling Arnold Schwarzenegger in um, the actual game. Um, they just, uh, uh, because obviously they probably um, get uh, some legal troubles, but they do. Um, they do actually come up with like some creative names for each character because they also have like Joker uh, and the different things. Anyway, so this is like a spiritual successor to Paperboy, um, which was an arcade game. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it was really hard. Now this isn't that hard because in Paperboy, I think you've got um, points of subtracted if you like destroy it uh, and like the windows uh, to people's houses and stuff. In this you get gain points for doing that so there's nothing to really stop you from just mashing the B button and um, you'll hit like 90% of the mailboxes and um, the pack menu. Um, yeah but uh, it is more fun if you actually don't just spam B button all the time. I actually tried. Um, so yeah. Um, but not only that, they shoved this cram packed full with 80s references. Now, so far I've only managed to get about 50% of the way through, so here's some of the skins. Um, and if you want to switch one out after you bought it, just press A on it to, and um, it'll switch to that one. Uh, and you can also unlock uh, tricks there. Pardon me? Anyway. Yeah. So. Um. Uh, you know, you, uh, earlier you saw Alvin and the Chipmunks. I don't know what those things are there. Um, if you want to tell me, you can down in the comments, comment section. But the 80s is my favourite decade. Like, I just absolutely adore the 80s. Um. And, uh, the, and the, uh, I get a lot of references from this, like there's the Kirby's, and uh, that was a TV show from the 80s, I don't know the name of it. Snoopy there, Gadget, um, Herbie, um, E.T. There's a bunch of cars from the decade. Um, that's the little girl from that uh, one with the bald kid who everybody thinks is uh, has cancer. That's the um, bear that recently got some new movies. And the Nintendo Power Glove, which they renamed as, uh, as Mega Glove. Um, uh, that guy's also from uh, The Flintstones House. Um, you also see the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in the sewers, uh, and you can see, see their heads just like popping out, just singing and you go in every kind of making people pop back in. Doctor Who, Simpsons, uh, you can see the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles there. Um, now, the alligator in the sewer could be a reference to Batman, because there was an alligator, like bad guy or crocodile, in the um, alien invaders or invaders, whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, that could, or it just could just be just a like, random crocodile slash alligator. Like literally, the only difference between a crocodile and an alligator is the snout. So don't get at me on, in the comment section. It's like, yeah, he's actually just sort of that. It's just like, nah. The only difference is the snout. They're basically the same creature. Um, yeah, bro. Yeah, so I think, I think I switched here, but yeah, I just love the sound effects that Arnie, the, the Arnie character makes when he's jumping. He uh, makes his, uh, um, you know, that uh, grunting noise. He is just so well known for, you know, doing and he, and he goes like, ah, this guy, and yeah. And there's also um, a reference to the Karate Kid um, in one of the costumes, Alvin and the Chipmunks. Um, there's a reference to Back to the Future with Hannah Fry, who uh, frames Roger Rabbit, so Jessica Rabbit uh, uh, Big Bird, um, Superman, uh, 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Heroes in a Half Shell, Turtle Power, they're the world's most fearsome fighting team. I actually grew up watching that because I had some, a couple of DVDs of it. Um, what else? Uh, hmm. Alright. So, I've only made about halfway through. There, there's a Scooby Doo reference, um, which you will get to see later on. And even if my commentary can't fill this entire video, I will just let the um, game run and then you can just watch some gameplay. Um, so, you can get a better idea of whether this sounds fun or not to you. So, I've gushed about what I love about it. Now, here's what I don't really like about the game. Um, the controls, you you know, hit the stick left and right to move left and right, and the, I have two problems with this. Um, it's fixed, so you will always be in the centre of one of the three rows, left, centre and right. I would have liked it if they had added at least an option to make it to, so that you can freely move. Like, I think um, the original like, Paperboy did that, so they can free, freely move, so I think... That would be a good option, and um, it is a little bit sensitive. And I was, uh, I was using the, the GameCube controller, so I couldn't really use the D-pad, but you can use the D-pad. Um, and I heard that helped, but um, the exaggerated movement can be a um, life deal sometimes. And yeah, you can see I do dip a couple times and just like for no reason just pal my face straight into an obstacle. Um, and me again. Um, yeah. Uh, let me find um, Oh yeah, collect coins and notes. Um, another thing that, that is a little bit iffy with this is um, the tech uh, is like um, you lightly tap anything and you are dead. Like um, maybe. Maybe it shouldn't it shouldn't be as punishing as that, you know, maybe um if you are like piled riding into something. Um maybe uh, um piled riding into something you could um recover from it or something, I don't know. Um but uh, like sometimes I'll jump on top of a moving car, like a car that's moving to one side. And it could be like I jump onto the rear end of the car, and the car, you know, is going in the direction, and it's not, and the, the rest of the car is going to hit me. But just because I touch the rear end, I lose, and that can be a bit, a little bit annoying sometimes. Now, I would never say this game would uh, has ever frustrated me. I've never got angry at this game. Um, uh, I think those were the California raisins. Um, yeah, um, I went to, wait, uh, I think that might have been how not how then the, um, that uh, car with the voice, I don't know, I don't know all the references, Smith, um, I don't know all the references unfortunately, but, um, yeah, um, yeah, what was I saying, um, yeah, so there's that. Um, uh, yeah, um, um, yeah, I would definitely like to see like um, something like this, but based off different like decades, so like a '90s version, a twenty, a 2000s version. And 2010 and the 10 and 2010s version when we eventually hit 2020, which I, which by then I'd say, um, yeah, we would have. And there's just so much like potential, many so many potential references you could just cram into a sequel, um, especially with like uh, memes in the in the from 2000s to 2010s, like um, there's so many references references to memes you could have. A Shrek character, and the um, and it could um, and it could play like a little clip of your rock star. Da, 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 I don't know the lyrics to that song, but I do know 
the tune to it. Um, your, so you can play like a little bit of your rock style, like a um, off-brand version of your rock style or something, kettle parody or something. And you know you could have um, you know just references to like means like over nine thousand. Uh, you know, you ground the knuckles, and uh, you know, there's just so much potential with sequels here that I would majorly suggest getting this because it is only like 89p on the e store right now. Go get it and hope we get a sequel because I would love nothing more than a sequel to this game even if it's just a reskin basically and it, uh, just with different with different references to different eras and instead of delivering VHS's you could like, deliver um, CDs and video games and it, um, con or consoles or whatever like you we could go like um, if you did a 20 turn version you could go around like shoving w uh, Nintendo switches at um, pe you know in people's mailboxes or something um, and uh, there's just so many uh, I'm surprised they didn't do like a Mario or Sonic reference in this um, to be honest or maybe they have and I just haven't seen it um, yeah because like I said I've only gone about halfway through so um, yeah, th so there's probably more references I haven't seen yet, but uh, I've seen Robocop references, I've seen Terminator references, and uh, not just in Annie appearing in it. Um, uh, what else? Um, yeah, also, if you do decide to just spam B, apart from making it t easier, it does add uh, a um, bit of humor to it because. Um, as you see here, it just absolutely destroys everything. So, mashing B, um, it allows you to like focus a little bit more on um, dodging the obstacles, and it also produces some funny uh, things like yeah, just everything's getting destroyed right now. As you can see, out oh, Superman killed me. Um, but yeah, if you love the 80s and the, uh, or you. Uh, or you lived in it, and you, you'd probably like. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm. I'm so certain I, um, of this, and I'm actually gonna take this to my dad's. I'm gonna take my switch to my dad's, and get my dad to play this because I'm sure he would love this because he's um, actually played the original like um, Paperboy, so I'm sure he'll love this. And uh, um, he didn't like the original Paperboy because it was too difficult for him. This is like this is. Admittedly, this is quite a bit easier than Paperboy, um, but yeah. Uh, the ball is obviously bare bones. I mean, you, you're not gonna. Oh, yeah, that, that's actually the first time I've ever seen that glitch. Yeah. Oh, another thing. If you're on the, you know, that lane where cards are going in the same direction as you, do not stay there for long. Because I will. I tell you, you stay there for long, and cars. This this footage is not sped up, by the way, or edited in any way. The the cars will just appear out of nowhere and completely wreck you. So stay off that lane as much as possible. Um, our big positive to this game is um, a lot of it is, you know, pre-generated. You, it, uh, you know, so um, the only thing that, so all of the houses where you have to deliver VHSs are the same every time you go through it. You might have already noticed that. Um, and the only thing that is even slightly randomized is the obstacle placement. So, if you get really good at this game, you could learn that when exactly to press B to deliver VHSs and just focus completely on um, dodging obstacles. Um, and there's also another really good way to tell which houses you do and don't need to deliver VHSs to. Um, the, the buildings that you do have to deliver VHSs to, they are usually brightly coloured, and the ones you don't are usually grey and boring. I've only seen two buildings um, that uh, don't follow that rule, and that was a boring building that you did have to deliver the HSS to, and a light, brightly coloured building that you didn't. Um, so there's a, so far I've seen there's only those two exceptions to that one rule. So if you get the sooner you get that into your head the easier this will be and just remember where those two buildings are and then 
Um, that'll make this a lot easier for you. Um, Come here, baby. But yeah, also something that could be implemented um, is like an easy mode where or in a difficulty mode and have like um, checkpoints. Like in easy mode, you have like a checkpoint, say every five buildings or something like that. Um, or after every sewer level, um, and in normal mode you have it like after every like two sewer levels, and in hard mode you don't have any checkpoints or something like that. That would be cool. Um, and again, something they could implement in a sequel. Um, the only reason why I could think they wanted to make a sequel to this is the fact that um, I think the pretty much the entire reason this does exist is because. The guy who made this does actually quite love the 80s, and this is more of a passion project thing, so that's the only reason why I could think that it would not, you know, get a sequel, because I don't think he's that passionate about like the 90s, the 2000s, and the 2010s, and, and you know, the 20th century, and so on. So that's the only reason why I would think they would not make a sequel to this. Transformers! Um, I almost forgot to mention them. Um, yeah. Um, also there's, yeah. Um, there you have she costume as well, I almost forgot about her. Um, you have a wolf boy, oh, and you have, which is Wolfman, um, costume, so yeah. Um, yeah, my final bid, my rating of this game out of 10 is a solid 7.5 out of 10. Like, I'm very close to giving it an 8, but the problem is, once you've beaten it, you know, all the way through, there's not really much replay value. Um, and those two, those little bits that um, do annoy me a little bit, like um, the wonky hitboxes sometimes, and um, the cars just coming out of nowhere to wreck you. Um, they, those do uh, duck tails. Um, those do ruin it a little bit. And um, but in, in a, but at the end of the day, it's an enjoyable experience. And if you love the 80s, definitely pick this up. Um, and if you don't love the 80s, still pick it up, because it's only 89p. Like, it, that's literally nothing. I could probably go out on the, out onto the street, walk around for five minutes, and with my, with my head pointed to the ground, I'll probably find more than 85, 89p on the, lying on the ground. So, um, and this is UK, this is in UK money, by the way, because I'm English. I don't know how much it is in America or anywhere else. But you can compare it yourself, because I'm too lazy. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys um, tomorrow for you. Not tomorrow, but the next day for me for um, the next review. And um, I may actually upload um, bonus videos as well, but not probably not, like most for the most part, because um, if you were going on a long video a day, um, YouTube doesn't need to be like, and to like you, so, um, uh, but yeah, hopefully, yeah, but um, the reason why I'm recording this early is because I'll probably be at the post office getting a card package, which may lead to a video later on today, um, or today for you, tomorrow for me, um, because it's going to be something that I'm going to be doing uh, not only a review of, but also doing some testing and having fun with it, so it's going to be like a multi-episode thing, the first episode will be a review of it, and then um, the next few videos based using it will just be like testing it. Um, anyway, uh, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. There's actually quite quite a bit more gameplay than I actually needed, um, but I just wanted to make sure I could get everything out. Enjoy the gameplay, um, and it, um, you know, pick this up. Like it is a seriously fun game, and uh, you could. You could spend hours just mindlessly playing this, or you could just like have a couple goes on it and then just play it like that. Like, this is one. Well, this is one of the few games I would say is perfect for the Switch. And I, I only even heard of it until, until today when I had to go out of my way 
to um, look up a review for it before I bought it because I didn't want to waste money on a game I'm never going to play because it's shit. Um, anyway, so yeah, hope you enjoyed uh, this video and there's eight more views of the games that I bought on this on the sale that has come up. And remember, uh, if you don't. Remember, the sale ends on the 1st, so make sure to get your gamers uh, um, on the, uh, you, you know, discounted uh, now, otherwise you're just going to be missing out. Bye-bye. Also, hashtag not sponsored. Bye-bye. <laughs>